Obey, obey them who have rule and authority over you. In other words, submit to them so that you basically won't worry them as they're watching for your soul. As I was driving down here, the Lord began to show me some things in the spirit that was taking place. And I just want to say this to put out this disclaimer. Pastor John don't talk about what's going on in his congregation. If anything, he would call me and say, sister, pray. And whatever the Lord shares with me, I'll share with him. Deb don't say too much because she knows how the prophetic flows. So they want the Lord to speak. But as I was driving down here, the Lord began to show me. And I'm going to be quick with this word because I want y'all to come back. I feel, a, I feel a prophetic deliverance mantle. I want you guys to come back to the even service as well. But the Lord began to show me in the spirit, those of you that are sitting in the house, and what I begin to see is a whispering spirit. I begin to see some who were whispering in the ears of others and causing a spirit of division. And in front of Pastor Face, you're smiling. But behind his back, I see daggers in the spirit. I begin to see this pompous like spirit. It's almost if you, 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 you more anointed than the leader. And if that is the case, God didn't call you. He called him. Amen. I begin to see a whispering and I begin to ask God, well, God, what is this? What is this? What is this? And he began to show me uh, 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 the, the, the motive, a secret motive, a secret agenda of some of y'all that's up in here. And sadly to say, there is not unity in everybody's heart. Some of you are sitting among us with your own agenda. And it's not a kingdom agenda. Because a kingdom agenda, we're coming together as one. When we have a kingdom agenda, we come together as one because we know the power of unity. We know the power of unity. The Bible says not too many wise men are called to the gospel. And some of y'all are too smart for your own good. Some of y'all think you're wiser than the Holy Spirit. And anytime you're operating out of that type of uh, a spirit, then self-righteousness come in. And if you're sitting here today and this is a choke point for you, good because the Lord is is pulling on the hearts to repent to turn back fully to him I even begin to see even as I was sitting there this spirit of manipulation where you're serving as long as people are coming in agreement with your vision as long as people are coming subject with the things that you want to do but as soon as your vision is, is ignored or kicked against, then you withhold your service. But the Bible says serve unto God, not unto man. So just because you don't agree with me and I stop, I, I, I'm withholding tithes and offering. And when it's time to do worship, nobody can find you. I'm canceling in the middle of things because I got an attitude. That's witchcraft. I told you I was coming and I was swinging first in the Holy Ghost. But the Lord is dealing with our hearts. He said the word is sharp. I was talking to a woman of God the other day. She began to share something with me and and I, I agreed with her. She said, a, a, a lot of church people, sanctify folks, we always want to get up and testify about the goodness and the blessings of God. And the Lord is always good. She said, but the word says, if you are a son and daughter, he chastises you. So if we're never going through a chastening, you are bastard. That, that's the word. That's the word. And we dare not become uh, uh, like the world where we seek prophetic mantles and prophetic words and think that I'm always going to come here and jump you. I'm going to always come in here and jump the people. Hallelujah. It's coming. It's coming. No, because that ain't biblical. 
Hallelujah. Now, I, I, I disagree with those who operate or walk in the office of a prophet and everything they got is beating you. That ain't God either. But he's a God of balance. Hallelujah. He's a God of order. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. So how is it that, as the woman of God said, how is it that we're never going through a chastening? How? I would say search your heart for self-righteousness. You always in right standard? You ain't never got nothing to repent for? Then I'm going to say one of the things for sure is a lying spirit. Because the Bible said if you without, if one say that without sin, you lied. Hallelujah. But with everything that's going on, the, the, the climate of our world today, we cannot not afford to be divided. We cannot afford to be divided. We can't be caught up, thank you, oh God, on our preferences. Our heart, thank you, oh God, our heart posture should be, hallelujah, Father, I want what you want. Thank you, oh God. Our heart posture as kingdom, children of God, hallelujah, I can receive the truth no matter if it's coming out of the mouth of a donkey or a prostitute. I can receive the truth. Hallelujah. Here, na, 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 shima. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Because my spirit bear witness with your spirit. Hallelujah. We brothers and sisters, we should know each other. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Lord is desiring for turning. Hallelujah. And if this word, if the shoe fit for you, hallelujah. Thank you, all God. If you know who it is and they ain't here, share it with them. Amen. If the shoe fits, put it on and, and turn. Just do a little twirl. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, oh God. We never get to a place where we are, we're there. Jesus ain't back yet. Hallelujah. He's not back yet. So it's always some type of deliverance taking place. But whatever and whomever this spirit of division is working through, this is a rebuke towards you. And the Lord is saying, stop. So the Bible says, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. And what you would do is you will bring a curse upon yourself and your family. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. And although I am way in Texas, I jump in fights. So if my brother fighting, hallelujah, he's not fighting by himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. And even with the mantle that rests on his life. Sometimes the Lord will allow leaders to hear your conversations. And he has such a heart of compassion and long suffering. I thank God for pastors. I don't think I, I, I could be a pastor. I would have probably fired myself a long time ago. It takes truly the grace and the love of God. Thank you, oh God. But don't get the compassion and the mercy twisted up like God won't come with judgment because you're coming against his anointed one. Thank you, oh God. That's right, woman of God. We reap what we sow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh God. The strife has to end. We want to see a move of God. We've been crying out as a body for a long time to see the Spirit of God move like we've never seen in our lifetime. But our focus has been off in areas as a whole. Our focus has been off and we have lame among us, and they leave lame. Our focus is off, and we have sick among us, and they leave sick. 
it shouldn't be. As we know the word, greater works shall you do. Greater works shall you do. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. So I encourage you, everybody that's here, thank you, oh God, over these next uh, few days or these next few services, thank you, oh God. Whatever it is that you have to get right between you and the Father, get it right. Thank you, oh God, so we can move forward in the Lord. Hallelujah. So we can go up to the mantle. Thank you, oh God. Go up to the place in the spirit realm that he has called us to. I'm getting ready to close. Can, we, can I get a little worship? Thank you, oh God. For those of you, thank you, Jesus. They may uh, want prayer. Hallelujah. I ask that you come forth. I told you I was going to be quick. I don't think Pastor thought I can be quick. It don't take God long to speak. <laughs> now, y'all come back now. I, look, I, I, like I said, I feel, I feel the anointing for deliverance. Thank you, oh God. Hi, ya na 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 na, she ma ma ma. He na na na, she ma. A miracle releasing anointing. He na na, she ma ma ge di di she ya. Woman of God took me uh, to uh, one of the scriptures, and it's a familiar scripture. Uh, we know that it takes faith to see miracles and Jesus said either, e even, he said I couldn't perform miracles because y'all it was too much unbelief. We decree that they would not be named among us. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. And even a spirit of unforgiveness. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Will we'll stifle the flow of God how we're desiring to see it. Hallelujah. So this is a cry for us to get our hearts right between us and the Father. Hallelujah. This is a cry. Thank you, oh God. For us to come out of these pompous positions and go get it right between our brother and our sisters. Hallelujah. And whatever it is, thank you, oh God, that you have to get right. The hour is now. It's now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God.